everyone! In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to make this cute Hello Kitty fondant topper for a cupcake or a cake. So the first thing I'm going to show you is how to make the bow and the ears, and then next I will show you how to paint on the leopard. So what you need is the following. A fondant rolling pin. You will need several cookie cutters. This cookie cutter dress is going to make the sides of the bow. This football cutter is going to make the ears, so you can either get any cookie cutter or cutter that has this shape, um, or you can just mold it yourself with fondant. You need two sizes of circle cutters, so I'm going to use a Wilton 2A tip for one circle, and then I'm going to use this cupcake um, filling cutter for another one. You need a pizza cutter, and then you obviously need your fondant. I'm using satin ice pink and white. And then I have this to store my unused pieces. So let's get started. If you feel like your uh, fondant is sticky and you need to just dust your surface with a little cornstarch, you can go ahead and do that first. So when you begin, you take your desired color. I'm using pink to make the bow. You then roll it out. I would suggest rolling it out pretty thinly, but not super thin because you want it to stay on your cupcake and be sturdy enough. Uh, if you're afraid that it's going to fall or you want something a little more sturdy, I would use gum paste because it hardens better and quicker. Okay, so then you go ahead and you cut out two sides of the dress and just the bottom portion is what you need. Once you have cut your sides, you can put them together and just make sure they're pretty equal in length. Mine are a little off, so I'm going to cut slightly the larger one. And there you have your two sides. Okay, you're then going to put them to the side and you're going to make your center with your two circle cutters. So I'll then roll out some more fondant. And I'm going to take my larger and my smaller. You'll then take your bow and you're going to just slightly pinch in the center. You don't need to do it too much because you're going to cover this with the circle and as you can see it covers it completely in the middle. So you'll then just add some water. If you prefer to use a gum glue or something else you can. And then you're going to add more water on the back of this circle and place it on top of that one. Now that you have your bow done, you can make the ears. So I'll put this to the side and I'll get my white fondant, which I have already rolled out. So for the ears, like I said, you're going to use a football cutter or anything that has this shape, this oval shape and you just want to cut two pieces that will resemble your Hello Kitty ears. And just cut them pretty big to begin with because you want to just be able to form them a little bit and find out how they best fit behind your bow. If they're too small, they won't peek out enough. So I'm just gonna go ahead and see how this fits behind the bow and as you can see it's a little big so you just take your cutter and I'm going to cut a little bit and see how that fits and I do have to shape it a little bit because I want to keep that oval and that fits well so then I'm going to take my other side and shape it down and that one actually fits well too so what I do now is just take some more water and lift 
it up and add some water to the ear so it sticks to the bow nicely. So there you have your bow with the ears which you can keep this way if you want or you can add the, the painting which I like to do the leopard painting on this one. So next I'm going to show you that process. To paint on the leopard pattern you want to make sure your bow is dry a little bit because painting on fresh fondant can be tricky. So you'll need two size brushes, uh, pretty small, one smaller than the other to make the outside of the leopard pattern. You're going to need brown, black, and white. The reason you need white is because you'll need to mix it with the brown because the brown is very dark. So you'll get this type of color brown. And then the black, you can just do black without any coloring at all. So you'll take your larger of the brushes, dip it in the brown, and then just dab spots of brown wherever you want. And they're not perfect. Um, because they're the leopard spots so some will be bigger than the others and you just kind of dab like that. So just make enough that you feel fit, see fit, and then you make some in the center and then you make some on the other side. Once you make your brown spots you'll take the black and you'll dip your smaller um, paintbrush in that one and you'll just go on the outer edge and make different types of shapes. So like for one you will do maybe a semi-circle around the brown and then have a little bit of black there. And then one you may do two on the side like parentheses. And then another you can do a complete circle. And maybe add a little black in the center off to the side. You can add a semicircle, a circle, parentheses. So you just basically feel it out, see what looks best, and then you can just add a little black like at the very edge of each just to add some definition. And then you do the same for the center and just be careful not to mix in with the brown um, preferably you'd want to let the brown dry a little bit before doing this step, but um, just for purposes to show you I'm doing it now. So as you can see it creates a nice leopard pattern on your bow. Perfect for any cupcake topper or cake topper. Thanks for watching.